Hey everybody, it's Rockula and welcome back to Rockula Retrospective. This is installment number five in my Vita series, 30 Bands in 30 Days. Vita means vlog every day in April and today's artist is Buckethead. One day I walked into my friend Michael's house and he said, check out this guitarist, he's playing the Popeye theme. Little did I know that my outlook on music would be changed forever because of this one album. That album was Welcome to Buckethead Land, and it would shatter all of my preconceived notions about musical creativity. This was an important step in shedding the self-imposed rules that had kept me from being the creative person I really wanted to be. There is no way that I can express all of my admiration for Buckethead in just one quickly written review. I plan on doing more videos on Buckethead, including an extensive analysis of Welcome to Buckethead Land. But for now, let me give you some facts and figures. 154. That is the total number of studio albums released by Buckethead as of this date. 204. That is the total number of Buckethead's outside projects and appearances. 87. That is the total running time of the Buckethead catalog in hours. Expect all of these numbers to grow every day. As you can see, it is very tough to be a dedicated Buckethead fan because he is so prolific that it is nearly impossible to keep up with everything he puts out. The second issue I have is that after a while, all of his music starts to sound the same. I will put my Buckethead collection on random and will not be able to name most of the songs or tell you what album they come from. It's like there's one big long Buckethead song that lasts 87 hours and is chopped into hundreds of tracks. The one last thing I want to mention is that a great deal of those tracks that sound the same kind of feel like Buckethead is just programming a beat and then jamming over it. If Buckethead was just a good guitarist, I wouldn't be writing about him. His material helped me form my first ideas about becoming a multitasking musician and a multi-genre artist. I had started to shed my fear of machines with the Beastie Boys, and now I began to embrace and even try to assimilate technology into my music. Buckethead did not limit himself to live performances with a band, and would often play by himself over backing tracks. I actually prefer seeing him that way. In many ways, Buckethead is building on the legacy of Frank Zappa, in that he is fueled by the desire to be as prolific as possible. He has also taken control of his own image and career, and pretty much does whatever he wants. Buckethead may be most famous for his electric guitar shredding, but you may also want to check out his acoustic work as well as electronic compositions. There are tons of examples of his work on YouTube, so just type in Buckethead and go on an adventure to Buckethead land. Thanks for checking out day 5 of my Vita series, 30 Bands in 30 Days. Also, I'm posting a list of all the bands I'll be covering in this Vita series. Please like, subscribe, and share, but most of all, I'd like to hear your opinions on Buckethead in the comments, or you can do your own Buckethead video. Just make sure to let me know so I can watch it and participate as well. Tomorrow is day number six, and I will be covering another important milestone in my musical evolution with my discovery of... Course of Empire. I'm Rockula, and this is Rockula Retrospective.